difficult uh, balance to strike, isn't it, between aggression and power, which we've been talking about, and consistency. So how do you try and get that balance right? Uh, I work on that balance all the time because my mentality is to be aggressive. And what well that rewards you, you still have to know how to, to place the ball, and sometimes you have to play a long point. So uh, consistency, I believe, starts with good technique. You have to have all these things that we've been discussing. You have to have your technique down in order to get the ball on the court and uh, also having some spin to keep the ball in. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll talk about the spin and how you achieve that in a moment. We've got some shots of you again playing in uh, various different tournaments, but okay. I guess the different surfaces which we see you uh, playing on all the time, Venus, affect mm -hmm. how consistent you can be as a player, don't they? Absolutely. Um, uh, I think they're showing some grass court shots here, and obviously this is perfect for my game. I like to play hard. Uh, and fast. The hard court is what I grew up on in California, so that's just a part of who I am playing on hard courts. I feel very comfortable on it. Uh, that's a nice. Sneaky little drop shot. I remember hitting that. No, I don't. <laughs> just kidding. But, uh, <laughs> wow, big serve. Um, I think this is my first Wimbledon here. Very excited, as you can tell. <laughs> well, they didn't show any clay court shots at all, but that's a, that's a court that's slow. And what I constantly battle on the clay court is really staying calm um, and not trying to go for too big of a shot. And yeah, some, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Yeah, I guess it's a whole different game. And you're having to adjust all the time to the different surfaces. But this surface that we're on today, one of your favorites. Definitely very consistent surface. And like I said, I grew up on a hard court. So even though I love grass, this surface is second nature for me. OK, well, let's see you hitting some more balls again. So why don't you talk us through some of the drills that you might do with David that perhaps give you some consistency? Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll work on um, Hitting, sometimes we'll go from 10 balls in a row, uh, sometimes we'll work on 20. And what we'll do at the same time is work on the depth. Because when you hit a short ball, you're in trouble. So I'll put a target up uh, on his side, or he'll put the target up. And then I'll work on hitting it deep. And sometimes my dad will count. I think the highest I've gotten was to over 300. <laughs> but. That's kind of unnecessary in modern tennis to <laughs> hit 300 balls. <laughs> but a good number to go for is 20, sometimes 50. 100 can be um, really challenging also. So See. when you're doing this, you want to focus on really getting under the ball and raising it, working on that arc and clearing the net very well. So that will really help with your consistency. And we'll do kind of cross courts and down the lines also. Kind of what we did at the net. And that really gets us in our groove. An important part of being consistent is keeping your head down. So when your head is flying up and you're looking to where you're hitting, you really lose control. So you really want to keep your head right where you're hitting it. Keep your eyes right there. So those are some tips for being consistent. OK, we'll give you a breather there. Fantastic. I mean, honestly, really, really fabulous display of consistency there. John in San Juan says, uh, my coach says that to get a crisp, consistent forehand, that I should hit outside the ball. Now, what does that mean? Do you understand the question, hitting outside the ball? Or maybe the coach is not very good. <laughs> He's, maybe it's different in Spanish. Is he from what, where? San, uh, John in San Juan. San Juan. Maybe in Spanish you say it different, but no. you would hit outside the ball if you're going cross court or if you're really on the run and you you would even hit more outside the ball to get it cross court so that I would recommend hitting outside the ball for a cross court shot but not to be consistent okay canny and Cleveland says what's the best way to gain power and consistency in my ground strokes power and consistency I would say you really want to stay level so when you're hitting the shot if you start out low then you want to stay low so that way the ball, you can control the ball. If you start a little higher, you can just stay high. So if you're kind of st starting from one position and going up, you're really going to lose control.